Hello, YouTubers, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Urban Overseas 3 Divine Wind, Death and Taxes. With your host, Shenner, currently playing as the Kingdom of Wallachia. And look at that. Once we loaded the save, it now shows our name all the way across the uh, Eastern Balkans here. So that's pretty cool. Let's speed up time again. We left off at war with the Ottomans and just not interested in it. We can't really get anything out of war with them. Maybe make them spit out some country or something? No, they can't release anybody. There's no point going... There's no point. We'll just... We should never have accepted that war to begin with. Fuck it. Let us instead focus our efforts on rebuilding our military. And, uh... I don't know. Maybe we should have joined this war against Hungary on Byzantium side and kept that alliance. Because... We could right now be forcing Hungary to spit out Transylvania or, you know, something cool. And instead we're just sitting by and watching them fuck up Byzantium. <laughs> ah, well, whatever. Fast forward. You can watch Lithuania die. That's fun. No. No. How about white piece? Oh, they they would. Um. You know what? We'll do it. Fuck it. We're at peace. Good for us. I like being at peace. And let's uh. What do we have? Six and two. Let's do another horsey. And let's stop funding our troops. Don't need it. Oh, wait. What the fuck was that? We have rejected Byzantium's military alliance. What? Oh. Oh. Alright, so we could ally with them and get back into this war with uh, Hungary. So maybe... Sure. Croatia, Burgundy, Sicily, guaranteed by Bohemia. No, we'll just let them draw us in. If they want to draw us in, we'll join it. Because this time I'm feeling generous, baby. No? You're not going to ask us to join? Oh, there we go. Uh, yeah, Teutonic Order, they won their war. They made Lithuania give up Podlasi and Trakai. And they gave up claims on Samogidia. Really? Samogidia? That's amazing. That, that was really a historically, uh, Lithuanian province. Well, amongst other Baltic nations. They're still at war with Poland, though. Anyway, let's see if Byzantium draws us into this war. I hope they do. Because I actually want to join it this time. Nope. Byzantium made peace. Byzantium will cede Bosnia and Zeta. Oh well, we got our alliance back. I mean, that's kind of cool. I didn't even have to do anything. But it does bother me that... Uh, Hungary got stronger. Ah, oh, shit, I forgot to start my timer. Hold on. Alright, timer's going. Now, what the fuck is all this shit? Naples and Urbino. Right, let's just look at... Urbino, Mantua, Modena, and the Papal State. Wow, that's not really anything threatening, is it? And Urbino is at war with Naples, Florence, Teutonic, what a problem. <laughs> yeah, Naples, you're gonna fucking stomp these guys, aren't you? Papal State has two territories. Urbino has two territories. Well, Florence might die, but uh, that's about it. Otherwise, Naples, you're sitting pretty... You might unify Italy doing that shit. Alright, let's keep moving on. How do we have Casus Belli on, anyway? Uh, Alliance Casus Belli on Sweden. Holy War on the Mamluks. It's kind of far away. And that's it. Worn by Hungary. 
So we have no real cause of spellies. Uh, we should probably... Yeah, let's warn Hungary. We can't. They are warning us, so we cannot warn them. Let's warn Croatia. Hmm. Uh, they can't attack anyone, because they're the lesser partner of a union. Who the fuck can we warn? Oh. We can marry Austria. We can just marry some people, I guess. We're already married to France. Let's try Burgundy. Uh, I kind of want to warn somebody, but we're allies with Serbia. We just got our alliance back with Byzantium, so we can't really warn them. Uh, we can get better relations with Byzantium? I don't know. I think we'll just relax for a bit, maybe? Why can't we warn them back? They're warning us, so we can't warn them. That doesn't make any sense. We should be able to warn them right back. I think that's a, a game flaw right there. Can't claim our throne because we don't have a royal marriage. Can we claim anyone's throne? Aragon. We have a marriage with them? No, we don't. We could try. No, but they're too far away. I don't care about them. I kind of want to get an alliance with Teutonic Order. They, they, they're they pretty pimping, man. Uh, it costs 41 gold just to improve relations. That's not worth it. All right, we'll just we'll just relax. We'll put our feet up. And Austria said yes, and everyone else said no to our marriages. Apparently we have very ugly women. And apparently Byzantium doesn't want to defend their territory. Poland is just destroying Lithuania. Poor guys. Bohemia declared war on Mazovia. Uh, let's see what happens there. Nothing? Nobody was protecting them? I would have thought for sure someone would be guaranteeing the independence of a small country like this. Damn. Uh, yeah, maybe we should guarantee the independence of uh, Ragusa here. That might get us uh, into war with Hungary. Let's try that. They're in Croatia's sphere of influence. I don't care. So now we're guaranteeing the independence of Ragusa. Good for us. Sitting around all these magistrates. I kind of want to use them. I want to get a philosopher. And I kind of want to get a statesman. And to do both of those, I need cultural tradition. Which means I need to spend more magistrates. But I also need to spend money. It's five ducats. We'll wait until December. We'll do it in December. Florence started the Florentine reconquest against Siena. Oh. Okay. Go Florence, I guess. There we go. Poland, Lithuania will form a union again. So Poland has twice forced their uh, king to rule both countries over Lithuania. I mean, that's, you know, it's good for them, but it's not good that they're getting fucking butt raped by everyone in the meantime. And they're losing these two states to Mazovia. That's too fucking funny. I gotta keep improving relations with people. See if I can get an alliance somewhere. Austria would be a nice alliance, but they can't seem to even protect themselves. And that's just sad. Don't they have a military? What the fuck is Austria's military? Not on the first page. 24,000. It's not that bad. It's more than I've got, jeez. 
Hungary's way up there, 45,000. Ouch. Serbia, 48,000. Ouch. God damn. Oh, we'll keep trying marriage with these guys. It can't hurt, can it? The worst they can say is, no, your women are ugly. And I'm like, okay. Hey, Milan said yes. Good. There we go. Novgorod and Muscovy finally have peace. Muscovy gain, gained Vyatka over here. Good for you, Muscovy. Brandenburg war. Okay. That's going to be a short war. I mean, Bohemia is probably invading him right now. Nope, maybe not. Oh, it looks like they're invading these two states, which are controlled by Mazovia, but not going to matter. Oh, whatever, it's still going to be a short war. Mazovia's going to lose. <laughs> End of story. Naples, why have you not made any progress? This is mystifying. Naples. You're invading Rome and Ancona. I can see that. But you're not making any progress. Hurry up. Whatever. Uh, trade rights with Novgorod, no. Whatever. Finland was vassalized by Sweden. Who cares? Naxos accepted peace with Burgundy. That doesn't matter in the slightest. Holy Roman Empire. Eh, people still like Bohemia. I kind of like them too. 63. We got a Rome marriage and everything. They don't want to ally with us though, but... Oh, Austria says unlikely. Oh, we might want to kiss kiss with Austria. Oh shit, Comet sighted. I'm going to save and reload. It's about flipping westernized. Paradox hates me. Stop looking at the sky. Oh, let's do it. Whatever. No big deal, guys. Don't don't freak out. Mazovia and Poland got white peace. And now Mazovia is getting attacked, you can see, because their garrison is down to 873. Damn it, Novgorod, go away. Byzantium and Austria got a white peace. That's fine. Austria alliance with me? I said no. Oh well, we'll keep trying. That would totally be worth it. Although they are still at war. Maybe we'll wait for them to get out of war. Because they would be a great ally against Hungary. I mean, perfect ally against Hungary. Awesome ally against Hungary. Nope. No. Relations keep dropping. Might have to give them some money now. Oh, Serbia has a regency council. Uh, but they apparently have a decent heir. You can only dispute someone's succession when they don't have an heir. So if they're in a regency, in other words, their king is dead, and they, and they have an heir, then you can't dispute it. You can, you can dispute it when there's no heir. So, you know, it's hit or miss on whether or not you can dispute it. What was I going to do? Oh, yes, January. Damn it, I was supposed to do it in December. I wanted to spend some magistrates on paintings so we can improve our uh, cultural tradition and then I wanted to buy a philosopher level 4 damn it I wanted a level 5 at least fucking hell whatever it's better than nothing yearly prestige plus 1.2 and cultural tradition goes up as well 
It's worth it, I think. I would have liked a level 5, but shit. 89% Cult of Tradition. I only get a level 4. Very lame. Dabrovia. Oh, no. Oh, we should probably fund our dudes if we're going to attack somebody. Let's go that way first. Whoa. Siena was just annexed by Genoa. Look at that. Genoa annexed Siena and Pisa. Wow. That's pretty amazing. Oh, Austria accepted the alliance. Hooray. That's pretty cool. Gonna have to improve relations with them, though relations are only at 58, even though we're allied. Awesome, so now we have three allies. Let's look at our diplomatic situation. That's us with our vassals and one, two, three allies. Looking good. Mazovia was annexed by Bohemia. Yeah, uh, I could have told you that was going to happen. Come on, hurry up. Oh yeah, Austria's calling us to war already. Uh, Aragon annexed southern Sardinia, finally. So now they have the entire island. Naples has completely taken over the Papal States, so they probably annexed them. And then they'll go for Urbino next. Yep, they're already sieging both towns. Who else you're with? Mantua. Yeah, they'll go for Mantua for sure. Modena. Uh, yeah, they may go Modena. They haven't yet. I'm sure they'll do the, they'll do at least these four states. I mean that'll be a good start for them. All right, yeah, we'll join your war against Burgundy. Sure. Doesn't matter. I don't mind joining that war. Peace out Burgundy right now, but I can't do that. I would like to do that, but I can't do that, Burgundy. Because you could always come over here and invade my vassals, so I have to hold on to the war. Sorry. And Byzantium and the Ottomans are still fighting. Good for you, I guess. I can unfund my troops. Hooray. I can buy another soldier dude. Actually, I'll buy two. New center of Troy and Ostprosen. Where are the centers of trade these days, anyway? Let's see, we trade through Constantinople course. These guys trade through Aleppo. These guys, Alexandria. These guys, Liguria, which is Genoa. So Genoa has a huge chunk over here. Yeah, 1,600 trade value. And Venice also has a lot, 1,200 trade value. Lithuania has their own, it looks like. It's not worth very much. Golden Horde. There's a lot of centers of trade. That's one of the nice things about the uh, Death and Taxes mod, is countries tend to make a center of trade just because they know that it'll give them some extra income. So they do it. Whereas in the vanilla game, they typically don't do it. They don't bother. Oh, we get a new general. One of five things will happen. You get a new general. Lose army tradition. Uh, also lose a diplomat. Or we say no. It would anger some influential people, but you don't get any... There's no drawback. Yeah, we'll take a new general. Why not? We got a general who has good movement and good fire. Which is utterly useless because we don't have guns yet. This general sucks, even though he's brand new. He sucks balls. Eh, <sighs> whatever. Whatever. 
All right, so the war is over. Burgundy and Austria got a white piece. So our new ally... Oh, look, he's already rebuilt a ton of troops. He's up to 9 plus 26. He's at uh, 35,000 troops already, whereas I'm sitting here at 9,000. We're weak as all fuck. Oh, we're up to 11 now. It's better. But still. Austria honored their alliance with France. I don't think they can draw us in because they're a junior partner, so we'll just sit back and watch, I guess. Uh. Burgundy started the reconquest of Nevers, and they are now at war with Switzerland. Okay. Whatever. So yeah, this this uh this session has been fairly uneventful. We didn't really do much. We didn't really continue our war. We got our alliance back with uh, the Byzantines, and then we got a new alliance with the Ottoman or with Austria. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, give them some military access, and then we'll ask them for access too. You know, could be useful. They already got out of the war with England. They're like, yeah, we don't. There's no need. Uh, Naples annex Modena. Yeah, that's uh, predictable. And now they're going to annex the Papal State, and they're going to annex Urbino, and Naples is going to be a boss. What's their limits? 34. Oh yeah, they could easily annex all that shit. Alright, yeah. Increasing our relations through access. That'll work. You can also proclaim a guarantee, but eh, I think we're doing all right for ourselves. I would have preferred to have Bohemia as an ally or a Teutonic Order, but you know, beggars can't be choosers, bro. Need some more dude skis, dude. Was that Castile Annex Navarra? Okay, that's uh, not the end of the world. Papal State will cede Romagna. Oh, they didn't annex them. I thought for sure they would have annexed them. Ferrara joined against Naples. Yeah, that's not smart. Well, they haven't invaded Mantua yet. Naples could annex these, but that, that that's actually turning into a lot of infamy if they do. They took eight here from Adena. They took four for Romania. They're going to take eight for this. So that's 20 if they stick with that. But I guess they could go for those. Yeah, they could. That'll fit them right under their limit, just barely. They may do that. Looks like the Ottomans have completely turned the tables on this war. And they're now probably going to win. Which is kind of cool, actually, because uh, Burgund—I mean uh, Byzantium—is unable to get their troops over here. They don't control this land, and they're too stupid to ask for access through Serbia. They're just too stupid to do it, so they have no way of getting over here to fight the Ottomans, even though they outnumber them massively. They just can't do it. They're like, duh! I don't see how to get there. So yeah, stupid people. And we're slowly getting back up to good things. Uh, let's try to marry people. Uh, 
Oh, we got Poland and Bavaria. Cool. Infamy is slowly going down. That's always nice. Man, poor Byzantium. If they would just ask Serbia for access, they could easily get over here and turn this war around, but... Stubborn people, they just won't do it. They might, they might lose all three states right here. In fact, that's, that's probably very likely they're going to lose all three states. Nobles demand privileges. Aristocracy gain one, or disorder. Disorder for one year. Uh, do I want aristocracy? Leader shock, that's always good. Or more money. Uh, yeah, we'll go with the disorder. I don't mind leader shock, but I'm not going to uh, bend over backwards to get it. Yeah, Byzantium, you, you done fucked up bad here. Oh my god, Nevers won the war against Burgundy. That's hilarious. And England is utterly destroying France. Look at this shit. I don't know what happened to France's army. They might be stuck. Yeah, France's army's probably stuck in the south, and they can't get up here to defend the north. Because England's just running rampant up here. Hmm. Do you still have that attack? Yeah, subjugate Bohemia. <laughs> oh, that is too funny. I want to get a holy war causes belly on the Ottomans. If I could get a holy war on them, I would come down here and just wreck havoc. But I don't got it. Twelve and three. That's actually decent composition. I think I want one more horsey, though. Morocco annexed the Zionids, so Morocco and the Hafsids have divided up northern Africa. Urbino has pushed back. I am surprised. Naples is not doing as well as they should be. In fact, they look pretty silly right now because they're not dominating like they should. Yep, Ottomans are almost done here. Once they take Constantinople, they're going to sue for peace and they're going to take these three. I guarantee it. Byzantium still has hum. What a silly thing to have. Who's this? Bosnian nationalists. Oh yeah, we could start using spies. What does it cost anyway for, like, Bosnian nationalists? We can't fund nationalists. 101 gold. Oh my goodness, that's expensive. Man, Byzantium is such a dumb country right now. I don't know why. I don't know why they are so dumb not to ask Serbia for access. They could easily be over here with... They have 24,000 guys here, and they have another... Oh, that's it. They have 24,000 guys. But they could easily be over here taking all this shit back and storming through the Ottomans' land. But instead, they're like, How I get Erdisa? Uh... Aragon will cede Aragon. Aragon will annul treaties with Sweden. Aragon will release Sardinia as sovereign states. So yeah, Castile 
won another war. Big surprise. And England vassalized Scotland. You can see that. England. It's the best kind of gland. What is your mission, anyway? Claims don't... So you're going to go back to war with Milan again. God damn it, Muscovy, you're still at war with Sweden. Give it up. You guys can't even reach each other. Give up the ghost. It's over. Oh, the Hafsids joined the war against Byzantium. Yeah, that's going to go well for you. <laughs> Disorder in Wallachia has ended. Adal was annexed by Ethiopia. So Ethiopia got bigger. Ethiopia now controls everything from southern Egypt all the way to Sudan. I mean, not Sudan, to uh, Somalia, the Horn. That's uh, a big spread of territory there for you, Ethiopia. Well, it's December. So that means we can spend some money. <sighs> Is it worthwhile to spend it on some cultural tradition? Probably. Because I want to get a statesman. I really want some government tech. And he increases national taxes as well. <sighs> it costs... I can only get four of them. Ah, oh, shit, our timer just went off. Four of us... Four of them would bring it up to 85%. You know what? It's worth it. We'll do it. And then we'll have to wait for next year to finish it off. We're going to have to get up to 90% because I want to... I kind of want a better philosopher and I want a better statesman. There's nobody good out there. But anyway, yeah. We're done on time. So I'm going to have to end this here. Hope you guys enjoyed our time together today. I certainly did. We got a new alliance with Austria. Uh, we've continued our relations with our vassals. We ended the war with the Ottomans because it was silly, and Byzantium is going to get fucking destroyed here. I wish, I wish we had taken Burgas from Bulgaria, because that would have given us a direct contact with the Ottomans. When they finish this war, we'll have direct contact, and that would have given us a holy war, which would mean one infamy to take territory. But instead, we're stuck with bullshit, so... We won't even have a causes belly. We have no causes belly on them. So we'll have to think up something. I guess we can warn them. Let's warn them. And the next time they go to war, we can jump in or something. But yeah, that'll have to do. So in the meantime, uh, this is Shen saying goodbye from Wallachia.